Okay, so here we are in Voyage of Despair. If you don't know, this map is set on the Titanic. Usually, realistic settings don't do too well on zombies maps. Because zombies is about expanding on that uh, fiction idea of the apocalypse. So you don't even need to make a realistic map to really expand on the idea. So with the map like Voyage of Despair, it was basically a failure because it was set on the Titanic. I feel like if this map was set on, I feel like a wreckage of a ship, technically the Titanic is a wreckage, but like an actual ship that is broken, like actually split in half or something like that, and you're maybe even underwater, that would be cool. But again, this map is just a Titanic. It doesn't even feel like a zombies map. It just feels like it after it was destroyed, before it's Sank. It doesn't even feel like it has the zombies aesthetic to it. it it's very stupid. Uh, but we can now leave the spawn room. And I believe our first shield part is in this area. I do gotta look for it. And uh, to be honest, I'm not too familiar with the shield part locations. So this might take me a second. I know it's in this area somewhere. I just gotta look for it. Somewhere in here. I might even have to look this up. I am already having a lot of trouble finding the first shield part. You what the fuck? This is not good at all. This is very terrible. Uh, Here it is. It was just right there. I didn't think it could spawn there. I thought it spawned just inside this building. And now we can leave this area. We don't have too many points either. We do need like quite a lot of points to even progress in the map. But I believe now we have access to the Bowie knife, which is something I am going to grab because it is very helpful early on in this map to make a lot of points. And since I'm using the welling, I wouldn't say that it's a necessity, but it's almost needed to really get anywhere with the map. And I don't have to buy a weapon if I get it, which is good. Double points. Oh, that's really big. I gotta get my hammer. I'm getting the bowie knife on round three. I could not ask for a better start. Actually, the best start ever. All right, let's go ahead and grab it now. Easy mode. And we got a nuke as well. Even more points to add to our collection. But I believe this door is 1250, right? Oh, we need 30 more points. That is just my luck, isn't it? Bro, and a bonus points? Oh my god. We're too lucky right now. We have... 4,000 points in round four, even after buying the Bowie knife. I could not ask for a better outcome. I believe that means we can access the Sentinel artifact, which is the power of the map, on round four. Yeah, that we can. And we have extra points to spare. So we can try and build the shield like next round. But I'm not too sure if I need to open like more doors or not. I guess we'll find out. I know there's one like right below me in this area of the map here. Oh, there it is right there. Nice. I gotta remember what the other one is. I honestly don't know. But while we're here, we can activate our first pack punch location because there is four different locations that the pack punch moves to, and I have to activate each one. And our first one I already forgot to do, which is just right here. Now I just remembered where the last shield part is. It is actually just in this area, right outside of spawn. Okay, it's not there. That's like the location I always remember. So now I gotta go into scavenger hunt to try to find this shit. Oh, it's just on this chair. Okay, well we got it. We can go build a shield now. But while we're here, let's see. Oh, the chest is actually right here too. More on that later though. I don't want to explain it right now because there's no reason. I'll sh I'll, 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 I would rather show it then explain it, because I'm very dumb at explaining things. I guess I'll just start opening up more of the map, since I have nothing really else to do. I could try to buy perks, but I feel like there's no real reason to do that. We could see what our first box weapon is, though. Yeah, that'll be smart, actually. Let's just do that. The grav. Actually, not too bad. Now we can build the shield. I don't know if this is the only buildable table on the map, but uh, I haven't really seen any other guides that build it somewhere else. So that sadly is the only location. So I think now I might try to access each pack punch location. I almost forgot that was even a thing, even after doing the first one. So I guess I'll get to doing that. And then after that, we'll start buying perks, opening more doors, whatever, yada, 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 until we get to round 10, which is a very important round. So we can now open this door, which leads us to our next location, but we actually have to drain the water down here. I believe this switch is right here. Yes, there we go. And here's our next location. I'll try and remember the symbols. So like the front is an upside down triangle with a line through it. And then or I guess the one at the back is the upside down triangle with line through it. The one at the front is an upside down triangle. Okay, this could be very bad. Hold on a minute. So then I just got to remember the other two. So if I just remember it in like that way, that the symbols opposite of each other are the same. I think of it as that way is better. My small little tiny brain is actually working. And I did see a part over here. What was it? Oh, that's the part to upgrade the wonder weapon. And I'm not actually doing that because it fucking sucks upgrading. So there's no point. And my third location is all the way at the bottom of the ship. So that's just an, an upright triangle. Okay. Wait, what? Why'd it go? Okay, I ain't gonna ask questions. So now our final pack of machine is down in the engine room. I actually have to go this way first to drain the water, which is a little annoying, but it is what it is. There we go. I have to go to the complete opposite of the engine room just to turn on the pack punch. And I see it right there. Wait, maybe I did miss miss see the symbols because this one's just an upright triangle okay well the pack spawns right there so now all we need to do is just focus on getting perks and that's it until round 10 so we can now buy winter's whale and i'm thinking about pack-a-punching the grav because i'm gonna need a pack-a-punched weapon very soon to get the wonder weapon 
I don't need it, but it helps a lot. So I might do that while I'm down here. But I think this is going to move next round. I'm not sure if it stays here three full rounds, two full rounds. I don't know, but I know that it moves very often. Wow, it's moving. That is, uh, that's like the bottom of the, like the deck area, I think. Now let's see if I'm actually right about it being down here. Yo, there it is. There it is. There's our first pack punch weapon of the video. And the pack punch camo looks like shit on this map. So uh, you're going to have to see a lot of that. So it's now round 10 and there's going to be like a boss enemy that spawns. So I have to look out for him and he can take a lot of health very quickly. So I do also have to be very careful of him. Oh, there he is. Oh, so I got to like shoot the weak spots on him. Uh, oh, he dropped the key. Yes. Okay, I did it right. So I have to pick up the key he dropped. Now I'm able to unlock that treasure chest I saw earlier. And I have to fill that with souls. But I would much rather get all my perks first. So I have that Winter's Well modifier. Because it gets very uh, crazy when you're filling it up. Let's quickly go buy the rest of my perks. I believe I just need 300 more points to do that. So here's Time Slip and Mule Kick. And finally, PhD. So now we can open this treasure chest with the key. And we have to fill souls into this basically just have to kill zombies in order to do that i'm not sure how many souls this requires but i have to do this three times and there's five different locations this can spawn so after i fill it up i gotta find another location that spawns and it can spawn in the same spot so i gotta make sure that i don't leave right away if it still spawns here oh another stoker spawned yeah he spawns like every round which is one of the worst things ever like it's so terrible oh we also filled that up so now i gotta go to uh different locations to try to find it oh i found it Okay, here's just second location I checked, which is good. There's another part right here? Okay, I got that too. It'd be funny if I just find all the parts throughout the map. Oh, that one's done as well. Nice. This is why I wanted a packed gun with all my perks, because it can get bad. Well, the pack punch is right here, so I'm just going to pack the welling. Get that done. Okay, I might not be very smart. I forgot there's other pack punch camos on this map, and they can actually look very cool. The green one just literally looks like shit. It might just be the first camo you get. No matter what your first pack a punch weapon is. Because I've gotten this so many times, pack punching my first weapon. Oh, well, here's the other chest. That's really lucky. This will be my last one I fill up, too. Oh, there we go. So now what should reopen with an item in it, right? A globe. Uh, I gotta find where that globe is. Oh, I found it. As you saw, that uh, Kraken came up and gave me the Wonder Weapon, which is the Kraken. <laughs> you know, this is the Wonder Weapon. It it's very underwhelming, kind of dumb. It kind of just shoots cannonballs, I'm pretty sure. Like, the weapon itself is just a cannon. If you just look at the front of it, cannon from a really old ship, which is one of the most boring things you can ever make a weapon, I'm going to be honest. Cannons are not really interesting at all. But I can pack a punch it right now. This is going to be my main killing weapon for the majority of the game until I get the Helion. There we go. That's uh, a third weapon. So that has been basically everything on the map to do. All I got to do now is start hitting the box and getting more weapons and more weapons. I look for the box though. I'm kind of like confused where that shit is. Oh, it's right down here. So many levels of the ship that I don't know where to go. Uh, Rampage. That is good so far. And the Daemon, also very, very good. And while we're down here, we can just check where the pack of punch is moving to. I don't think it's staying there. Oh, wait, it tells me where it's at? Dude, I feel kind of dumb, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I actually feel really stupid. Oh, shit, I forgot Blightfathers existed on this map. I do want to see if the Kraken can actually kill it very quick or not. It does not look like it can. Oh, actually, no, that was pretty quick. Not too bad, actually. Okay, we can get the uh, Rampage done, so let's go pack that. And there we go. Oh, this camo goes hard, I'm not gonna lie. It has to be moving now, right? Yeah, okay, it is. Now, let's just see where this shit is moving. Turbine room. So that's just in the bottom, right? The turbine is uh, the engine room. Well, we just got enough points to do the Daemon without ending the round, so let's go do that. Now, we will find out if the turbine room is uh, the engine room. Where the hell am I? I am so confused right now. There is the Damon. Ooh, also a massive W camo. You no, know, I'm sorry, Voyager Despair, for saying that you got shitty pack punch camo. Honestly, one of the better camos I've ever seen in zombies. My bad, bro. Okay, we need to go get uh, two more weapons. We have uh, 6,000 points, so it should be enough to get two more. I hope. Bro, I think Treyarch's biggest mistake was having, like, a, a really annoying boss spawn in almost every single round. What's going on? I, okay, I heard him. Oh, my screen is also shaking to death, but I did not see him. My man did not want to be seen. Okay, let's, let's just get two, two more box weapons. Let's see what we get. Micro MG, huge. Oh, VMP, also huge. Is the machine moving? Oh, cargo hold. It did move. Okay, I guess we're going to cargo hold, which is almost a death sentence, because why would you ever sit there? I will say, the one good thing about the Kraken is it has a shit ton of ammo. It doesn't kill a whole lot of zombies per shot, but I am able to rely on this thing for a long period of time, which is very good. Oh, you know what? I'm going to pull out my hammer and get a lot of points with it. I got it to level three, so that means I can shock the zombies like this. And my God, the amount of points you can rack up with this is insane. Okay, we can do these now. So the VMP and the micro MG, that'll make seven. Now I need a new shield, so I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to hit the box again, but I'm very confident it's going to move. And I kind of want it to move because I want to see the other locations it can actually spawn at. Because, uh, 
I have not played this map enough to actually know where the locations are. Okay, there is our new shield. Boom. And let's see if we can get two more weapons. Uh, okay, never mind. VKM, that's good. The Helion. Oh, oh boy. Um, I might have to keep it, or I could. Mm, no, I don't need it right now. I'll put it back in the box. It might, it might be a stupid idea because I might never ever get it again. But I really don't want it right now. Wait, there's multiple stokers that can spawn it around. Oh, this shit's gonna get horrible real fast. We got 10,000. We gotta get towards the end of the round, though. Then we can pack more weapons. Now, where is the machine? Is it still down in the cargo hold? The Grand Staircase. Wow, that is crazy. Who would have ever thought that the staircase I was going down was the Grand Staircase? And then I called it the bottom of the ship. Wow. Well, we can now do the VKM and the Argus. I mean, we really don't got much points to work with, so I'm just going to try to end the round. If we can get very lucky and get two more with two hits, a very happy Big Poggers moment. Well, we got the Locust, which is good. Well, we got the Reaver. Very big. Yes, sir. Oh, we got 10,000. It would be really risky to pack mid-round, but I kind of want to risk it for the Biscuit. Let's go see if it's still down in the bottom area. I'm not even sure if it's still <laughs> the bottom area. The bottom of the grand staircase. Because it's so fucking grand. And it's not down here. Okay, where is it at? Poop deck. Eww. Yo, I see it. I see it. We cannot do the locust. Uh, reaver. Uh, is a reaver really worth my death? Yes, it is. Oh, is this at the end? Last zombie? Okay. Watch me get two more weapons. You're not even ready for this shit. There it is. There's a swat. One, one more. To prove my point. Yeah, there it is. My point has been proven. I might have to get the Helion next when I get it because the Kraken is kind of shit. I seem to always get the fire sails after I get two more weapons, which is very unfortunate. And I'm almost out of ammo on my uh, Kraken. That is very bad. Wait, I just heard a drop. Full power. I'll still take it. Damn, we couldn't get enough points. That sucks. I'm pretty sure the pack moved. It had to have. There's no way it didn't. I'm a non-believer in this shit. Oh, it's still there. Wow. Trying to risk my life again for the SWAT and the Paladin. I think it's worth it. It should be. Is there a Stoker? Nah, bro. I don't believe the Stoker spawns in anymore, right? Surely not. Bro, this is like really not a good idea. I'm making some very bad decisions right now. But I like playing Risky. It's fun. It's that blood pumping, you know what I mean? And there it is. Okay, let's uh put in the Paladin. Let's grab the Paladin. Okay, that's one. And uh the SWAT. That's two. And a Fire Sail? Oh, that's big. Does the box spawn over here, though? That's what I really want to know. Yeah, of course it doesn't. Wait. Oh, there's a location right there. You know, if I can get two more, big clutch moment. Wait, I can't even get two more pack punch even if I get two more. That, uh, that's what I was hoping for. We got the Cordite, though. That's good. What is that? No. I beg. Yes, the Hades. We can do one of them right now. Uh, I might do the Cordite. There we go. We can try and hit the box to get rid of the Cordite to even get another one. But I doubt it because uh, we have 2,000 points, which is definitely not enough. But... It's worth a shot. We got the skull. You know what? I'm just going to go a whole new round. Need more points, man. We're only sitting on 2,000, which is not good. And this gives me time to actually see where the new box location is as well. Well, I found the other location. It's somewhere below me. Is it really like all the way down in the bottom? Is there a location right here? There's not. I don't know where that is. I honestly don't know. going to have to do a deep dive into this shit. Oh, I found it. Oh, well, we got the Havelina. That's good. Okay, the Kraken is becoming a very shit weapon right now. I might need to get rid of it very soon, but uh, I need the Helion, so I don't I don't know what to do there. Ah, uh, dude, we're so close to getting these two packed, but we can't do it. It's very unfortunate. Now it's in the turbine room. Yeah, that's a death sentence. Every location besides, like, the poop deck, even that might be a death sentence, but, like, all of them are in like, the worst locations. It's, it, uh, it's not fun, to say the least. And I don't even really know where I should be training on this map either. I didn't look up a guide or anything of like where the high round strat is. I'm kind of just winging this shit. I have no idea where to go. But I might go ne near the shield in case when it breaks. Then I can just grab a new one. Maybe this is smart. I don't know. It feels like a pretty big area to train in too. So who knows? Yeah, the Kraken is starting to make crawlers, which is not something you want in a wonder weapon. On round 26, why? I mean, maybe if I got the, the other upgrade for it, like the elemental upgrades, it could be better. But even then, I don't really think it gets much better at all. At least it can kill the Blightfathers very easily. I think this is last. We can go pack a punch the weapons. Here's the Hades and the Havelina. Now it's time to get two more. And I should be able to. 7,000 points should be enough. Oh, is that the Hitchcock? Yo, there's one. And the Helion. Perfect. Now I'm actually going to keep the healing on this time. And we got a fire sale. Of course we did. Why not? Why not after we get new weapons, huh? Hmm? Hmm? Did you give it to me after I pack-a-punch them? Like, you know what I mean? I wonder if the pack-a-punch is still in the engine room. It always seems to move whenever I look at it. Cargo hold. Yep, there it is. Well, we could use that teleporter right there, because I believe that brings me to the front of the ship, but not in the cargo hold. But that'd still be really good. What the fuck happened here? What? Dude, the... 
that zombie got stretched a fucking next week. I think I might head to the front of the ship. I'm gonna try to pack much the Helion as much as possible. It's gonna be very difficult, but I wanna try to use it as my killing weapon because I don't actually have much ammo left in my Kraken. There we go. We're here now and they're already here. I wish the zombies didn't spawn so damn fast on Black Ops 4. Like it, just, it literally just feels like this game was purposely made to just fuck you over. I, I know it was made for the hardcore fan base, but uh, why? Okay, well, we got one pack in, so that's good. Okay, it is still killing in one shot, so that is very solid. Let's try and do it again. There we go. What does that drop? Max ammo? I'll take it. Oh, it's moving. No, man. Come on. I wasn't done with you. Grand staircase. Oh, shit. That's even worse in this area because I don't have really any escape. Kind of want to risk it for the biscuit just because I play like that. It's funny to play in a very stupid way. Makes it more entertaining and fun for me. Okay, uh, we're going to do the heal line again. There we go. Oh, I don't know if that's it fully packed yet. Let me see. No, it's not. I think that's the last pack. Why am I playing like this? Like, who? nobody asked for that. Oh, of course I got the shitty camo too. Okay, this is really bad, but it's fun. Oh, wait, I don't have any more Winter's Whale. Uh, this could be really bad. I want that full power. No. Made it to the end of the round, I think. Let's do the Hitchcock. There we go. Let me say 18. Let's get a new uh, camo on this thing too, because it's pretty shit. Oh, I don't like that camo either. I want a good camo. Give me a good camo. That's a good camo. Okay, so now we have a very good solid weapon. Very, very good solid. I just said the same thing. Okay. We have a very solid weapon to use at our disposal. So we can, you know, not have to worry about killing zombies anymore. I want to try to move this box because it is in like the very bottom of the map, which is terrible. We got the Stingray, which is also very, very good. If we can get another one before the box moves, that'd be very convenient. But I highly doubt we will. Zwei Honder, give that to me. Well, we got two more. I want to hit it again, though. I want to move it. Did I really get down on one zombie in accident? That's crazy. Is it still on the grand staircase? Yes, it is. Okay. We got down here now. Zwei Honder is done. And the Stingray is also done. I'm very confident the box is going to move on my next hit. It has to. There's no way it doesn't because it's been sitting there forever in a day. How does it not move yet? M16. Sure. Why not? I'll take that because I actually need it. How has this m box not moved yet? Finally, it moved. Now, where did it move? It looks like the level right below me. I'm not sure. Actually, I have no idea. I, I'm a I act like I know what I'm talking about, but I really don't know what I'm talking about. Like It could be right down here. I know what I'm talking about. Holy shit, guys. Can you believe it? Oh, ballistic knife. Dude, our luck is kind of insane. I'm not gonna lie. Just like how it was on Blood of the Dead. We also got good luck on a shit map, so we're doing good. I'm pretty sure the machine moved, right? It can't be at the staircase anymore. It's still at the staircase. Okay, my bad, bro. My bad. I'm just disrespecting the pack punch like that. This is it's just not fair, man. Why, why am I obligated to make fun of it and it can't make fun of me? I feel like that is not good. Wait, I have like almost no ammo on my Helion. I have not realized this. There's ammo right there. What do you, <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> the more the merrier. Rock, paper, plasma? What kind of dumbass achievement is that? Okay, we're down to like two more zombies. So let's go get the ballistic knife and M16 done. There is one. There is two. Not only because the box is close to the deck, the top deck, I will hit it. I will go out of my way to hit the box again. I think it's on this level. I probably should look at the uh, level it's on. Oh, first class lounge. Yeah, that's uh, definitely this level right here. Mm-hmm, sir. Homunculus. Okay, we did not get a new weapon, but homunculus is huge. I kill these zombies. Oh, bullets and knife good. No way, no way. Not really, but no way. What if I throw homunculus down? That'll help. Definitely. What does a stoker go after it? He does? Wow, that's actually really impressive. But the homunculus is that strong, but he can't actually kill the stoker. So that'll be my job. Gotcha. Oh, is this last? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, we have 23,000. It should be enough to get two more and pack them. If I am really lucky, I can get four more and pack them because that's how math works. Oh, we got the Havelina. I thought it was the, uh, actually, what could it have been? Actually, I don't, I don't know. Because the Paladin, we already did it and it looks like it. Uh, well, we, we all, we did get the uh, Tiger Shark, so that's good. Um, S Cargo, is that is on the wall, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, my luck is pretty fucking shit. I'm not going to lie. Am I really going to be this unlucky? Wow, I really am. Ooh, MP40. That's huge. Now, I could technically pack one of them, but I might wait till I can get both of them done. Because I want to stay on an even amount of weapons pack punch, since there's an even amount I have to pack punch in total. It just works out better that way, you know what I mean, guys? Ooh, pack is still there, too. So that is convenient. Because once I get the points, I can just use a homunculus and just get them done, you know what I mean? Oh, we got 10,000 and a max ammo. Ooh, that means I can just throw a homunculus, go pack them, and I'll still have two homunculuses left. Here's a tiger shark and the MP40. We're well, at 24 now, so we only have 30 more to go. And we don't have too many more box weapons to get, so this can honestly be pretty damn fast. Oh, we got a blight father. Okay. <gasps> Dude, it's our time. Double cross, switchblade. There we go. There's two more. Nice. Ah, oh, but it's moving though. The round ended. That's that's a little unfortunate. Or is it actually going though? That's what I want to know. Turbine room. 
Ew, that's gross. This seems to be the end, the last three. I don't even want to take my chance at trying to kill some of them, because I'd probably kill all of them. But we're just going to go get these uh, two weapons done. And possibly even get two more if we're lucky enough. But knowing how last time went, that might not be a possibility. Okay, we got here. So there's the double cross. Bro. Okay, switchblade. There we go. I kept like switching the wrong guns. There we go. We could try and get two more. It is a possibility. I don't know where the box is, but we'll find it. The Mozu. That's one we need. Oh, the ABR. Okay, is that two more, right? I have the Mozu? Yes. All right. Another round. Another two weapons to be done. The Mozu's done. And... What? Okay, there we go. The ABR is also done. We have 10,000. We can attempt to get two more, but the luck's not looking so good anymore. We probably won't get two more. Oh, Peacekeeper. Oh, okay. Sure. Why not, right? I'm not gonna lie, it took me a solid, like, five minutes to find this mystery box, because I completely forgot there was one even down here. So, uh, you know, you know how it be. Rampart. Okay, we are solid. Twenty-five health is not good to be at. I don't like this. End of the round. Ooh, actually, no way. I can kill all four of these guys, and there's one more left. Perfect. And I believe the box is actually at the cargo hold. And I can just use a teleporter. I really don't want to walk all the way over there. Kind of takes a little bit too long for my liking to walk all the way. Here's the rampart. And peacekeeper. I noticed something very weird. What, what, like, why can I see the tires of the wall like that? Why can I see them like this? Like, this is not okay. That is... What? All we need is six more box weapons. Three of them are snipers. Yeah, this might be really bad. Well, we're gonna have to go another round. Another few rounds. We get the, uh, weapons. I didn't get lucky enough to get another one. I do saw points, but I really don't care enough, man. I really don't. Okay, we've gotten another one zombie. That's good. 30,000 points. About 30 box hits or so. So let's just see if we can get two more, man. Maybe even four more. Like, please. I'm so close. Six more, man. That's, that's really not a lot. And we're on a semi-low round compared to the other, uh... Pack bunch videos, so this is actually going very well. Cap 45, that's one. There we go. Oh, Vendetta. We will now have an additional 9,000 points to actually hit the box after we get these two, so that's good. Now I gotta find the pack a punch. Or whatever it is. It could still be in the cargo hold, actually. Is it? It is. Oh, okay. okay here's a cap 45 and the vendetta. Alright, four more. Let's see if we can get two more with the 9,000, almost 10,000 points we have. Oh, SDM. That's one. Can we get another one out of these two hits? Okay. Damn, we couldn't get another one. Okay, one zombie left. Let's try this again. Damn, still couldn't get one. Another day, another round is done. Oh, A and N before. Okay, where is the pack punch now? Bottom of the staircase. All right, all right. Okay, here's the A N and the S D M. All right, we got two more, which is the outlaw and the S G twelve, which seem to be the two rarest weapons to get most of the time when you're playing. So, uh, well, we're gonna be here for a while. Oh, the outlaw. All we need is the SG-12 now. Damn, we couldn't get it. We are so close, though. So close. Oh, yes. We got it. Oh, my God. Finally. And we can pack a bunch of both of them, too, which is fantastic. Okay, here is the SG-12 and the outlaw. Oh, please. There we go. That is every single box weapon done. Now, we're going to start working on all the wall weapons. And I want to get the two most expensive ones, which is the Kashka and the Titan. I don't know where the Titan is, but the Kashka is right here. I might actually have to look up the Wikipedia for these guns, because most of them, I don't know where they are. Oh, the Titan's in the spawn room area, cargo hold. Oh, huh, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got it now. We just need to rack up a shit ton of points. But at the end of each round, I think I'm going to try to pack like four guns. Since I'll probably have a solid like 20k at the end of each round. Or 30k, something like that. Oh, wow, I got down to the last two. That's very convenient. But where the hell is the pack-a-bunch machine? Engine room, okay. Or the turbine room, if you want to be specific. Here is the Kashka. Here is the Titan. I know there is at least one in this area, which is like right over here, I believe. Over oh, right here. The ICR. Okay, we'll grab that. Then the Maddox should be uh right over here there it is i see it right there now the maddox is done and the icr is done now i have no more points to really work with so we're gonna i think go two more rounds because i want to have like a solid amount of points get a bunch of weapons done at once because if i'm just doing this at the end of each round i'm only gonna have like two or four weapons done each round so i'm gonna go two more and rack up at least like 40k or so What the fuck? Oh, what? How did I survive that? I was literally 8 HP. What? Oh, I'm about to run out of ammo my healing on. This is really bad. Oh, no, man. It's also a Blight Father, which is also very terrible. Max ammo? Yes! And it also seems we're down to, like, two more zombies. Seems that way. All right, let's get the pack punching. And actually, I went three rounds, so we have 64,000 points instead of the 40,000 that I, uh, 
expected to have. Uh, let's go ahead and just buy the GKS. We'll just buy whatever we see. It doesn't really matter. Is that the trebuchet, I believe? Yes, it is. Okay. Now we gotta look for the Pack-a-Punch. It is in the cargo hold. Okay, that is very annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Now we've made it here. So let's do the trebuchet and the GKS. I believe the vapor is right above me, so we can go ahead and grab that. Here it is. And we can start working on the spawn uh, room weapons as well, since we're already here. I know the strife is just right here, so I'm gonna grab that. Here is the strife and the vapor. We can now buy the SX model. And I believe the Mog 12 is just right at the end of this hallway. Yep. Here's one. And here's two. Oh, what? There we go. Right, we can do four more as well, which is very, very good. We're making huge progress right now. Next one we'll buy is the Swordfish here. And I believe that's the MX-9 all the way at the end of this hallway. So we'll grab that as well. Now we will pack the MX-9 and the Swordfish. And the wiki says the SOG is in here somewhere. I think I might have seen it one time. I don't know, I didn't really go out of my way to look for the SOG in, in this room. It says it's a state room. And this is the state room. We gotta hope that it's actually in here. I haven't seen it, though. We found the S-Cargo, so we'll get that. And the RK-7 Garrison is here as well, so we're just gonna grab that. The RK-7's done. And the S-Cargo. Now, we, of course, are gonna grab two more to hold on to. Now, I really just gotta find the SOG, man. I, it has to be in this area, because it says it's in the state room. And this is the state room. Unless I'm very stupid and missing something, I am. Okay. And I believe that is the Spitfire right up here. Yeah. There we go. Now we just gotta go the, to the end of round 50 to get enough points to do the last four. Well, we made it to the end of the round. I believe we can get everything done. I think 23,000 is just barely enough to get the last two. If not, I'm gonna be kind of sad. Oh, wait, there's vomit on this, though. Oh, shit. God. Uh, uh. Okay, here's the song and Spitfire. And it's by the DMR. We're gonna look for the K57. It says it's on the poop deck. The big old poopy decky. We need 500 more points. So we can just go camp at the Pack-a-Punch. I don't know if it'll move though. So I'm gonna try to kill this guy and see if it moves. Because it has been in the cargo hold for quite a bit. It is moving. Yep. Pack-a-Punch is moving. Yeah, no shit. Bottom of the staircase. That is just a shitty spot. But at least we have homunculus. So we will be able to get this done. All right, we'll go ahead and throw this. Okay. Well, let's do the KN57. And finally, the DMR. So that has been every single weapon of Voyage of Despair. Honestly, this map was fun because I was doing this challenge. I feel if I was going for high rounds of the Easter egg, it would be boring. But because I was doing a challenge that is very stressful, requires me to do uh, a lot of round grinding, a lot of point grinding and all that shit, I feel this map was actually fun to do. It did take me nearly three and a half hours to actually do, which is, you know, just sad to say, three and a half hours of Voyage of Despair. But honestly, if you want to go for this challenge on this map, I would say that you really should, because this is really the only way I feel to have fun on this map. Unless you, for some reason, actually like playing this map. Well, that has been the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Obviously, the last map of this series is going to be Alpha Omega. I don't know if I'm ever going to continue the series after that map. That has been it. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and all that shit. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I love every single one of you.